Welcome to another episode of the Futures League Roundup. I'm Ben Hayes. Last night, all 10 teams took the field in another terrific day of Futures League baseball. Let's get to the action. The Bravehearts took over first place in the West last night as Worcester gave the Blues their second consecutive loss. Thomas Hortscott of Assumption took the helm for the Bravehearts and pitched the lights out, shutting out Bristol and allowing only one hit in his five innings pitched, while striking out five. St. Leo's Chad Miller's two RBI single in the fifth inning put the Bravehearts ahead for good. As Worcester takes this one over the Blues, 6-3. The Silver Knights and Dirt Dogs duked it out in Wachusett last night in what was the closest game of the night, but it didn't always look that way. Nashville got up big early, going up 8-1 in the fifth inning. The Dirt Dogs would battle back, however, scoring six runs in the sixth inning, capped off by a two-run homer by Southern New Hampshire's Sean Webster to tie the game. Wachusett would go on to get another run in the seventh, beating the Silver Knights in this one, 9-8. The Sharks looked to take advantage of the Nashville loss as they welcomed the 0-4 Navigators to the vineyard. North Shore had other ideas, however. Cam Lanzilli of UMass Lowell kept the Sharks cold, allowing only one earned run over his five innings pitch, striking out four, allowing six hits and walking none. The floodgates broke open for the North Shore relief, however, as the Sharks put up six runs at the bottom of the eighth to take the lead, two of which came from another Alex Lewis home run. Sharks take this one and now share first place in the East in Nashua, beating North Shore 8-4. Pittsfield took on the Mavericks at Seacoast, and the Suns got hot. Colin Giblet of Tosin had his best game of the season so far, doubling and hitting his second homer of the year on his way to a 3-for-5 day. Jordan Mukin of Eastern Connecticut picked up his second win of the season, allowing three unearned runs in a six-inning pitch and none earned, while giving up six hits and striking out three. Suns take this one over the Mavericks 9-3. The Rocks and Titans combined for 25 hits as the two teams squared off in Torrington for the final game of the night. Both teams put up runs early. The Broncos was too much for the Titans to handle. The Rocks take this one 13-6. Broncos has now scored 38 runs in their last four games, averaging 9.5 runs per game over that span. Now time for the player and pitcher of the night, brought to you by On Deck Sports, the official sponsor of the Futures League. The on-deck sports player of the night goes to Eric Feliz of the Brockton Rocks, as the outfielder from Notre Dame went 3-for-5 on the night with a triple and two singles, while driving in three runs and scoring three of his own. The on-deck sports pitcher of the night goes to Nick Hornbaker of the Dirt Dogs, as the southpaw from Lock Haven held Nashville scoreless over his 2.2 innings pitched, allowing two hits and one walk, while striking out six and picking up the win. Today, all ten teams are back in action, with the first game of the day already underway. The Suns and Bravehearts got things started at Fitton Field in Worcester, with Pittsfield already leading 1-0. The Navigators head to Wachusa to take on the Dirt Dogs. Nick Malatesta of St. Joe's gets the nod for the Navigators. First pitch at 6.35. Eastern Connecticut's Jacob Smith and his Seacoast Mavericks take a ferry over to the Vineyard to battle the Sharks. Christian Belinger of Spring Hill College is expected to tow the rubber from off his Vineyard. First pitch is set for 7. The Blues look to get back on track as they host the Swiss Army Knife Mike Giannales of UMass and the Nashua Silver Knights. Faulkner's Artavius Marsh gets the start for Bristol. The final game of the night is a rematch of last night as the Rocks welcome the Torrington Titans to Campanelli Stadium in Brockton. Shane Michello of TCU is expected to take the hill for his first start of the season. First pitch of this one is set for seven. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of the Futures League Roundup. Come out to the ballpark closest to you to enjoy the Futures League in person, and be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Until next time, I'm Ben Hayes. See you tomorrow.